I've worked on many types of vehicles, trucks, exotic, luxury, boats, even bikes. And I thought I had done it all. Until the day I got a call from the Norwegian Cruise Line CEO, Frank Del Rio. He challenged me to do go-karts for the new Norwegian Blizz. So at Norwegian, we launch a new ship every year. And so when we were building Bliss, we we're always looking for new innovative ideas. My grandkids, Massimo and Dominic, were always asking me, Pops, can we have this on the ship? Can we have that? And I said, why don't you guys come up with a list of ideas of what you'd like to see in the next cruise ship? And the next morning, they came up with this idea of a racetrack on board the cruise ship. It took about six months of hard engineering work, a lot of precision work to get it where it is today, and we couldn't be more thrilled. I've invited Frank to come over with his grandkids and take an inside look of what we do at the auto firm. All right, guys, you ready? Yeah. Man, wow. you're leading the way, huh? You what see that little tiny room over here to the left? Yeah. A bunch of colors. It's all the paint. Every single color that exists in the world is in here. So when my grandfather accepted the idea of the fact that we we're going to have an actual go-kart track on the ship, See that? Oh, suicide. Which I thought was incredible. I mean, I, I've seen all these cool cars from Lamborghinis to Porsches to a, a 1957 Chevy. He's done it all. So, I mean, I'm really excited to see what he can come up with for my go-kart. How does it feel? Good. Look, we'll take a selfie together and then I'll post it and say that you're the owner of the Lambo. Mm -hmm. I love working with people who have a lot of passion for cars, but to see kids walk around and be so amazed of what they're seeing. And to actually love what I do, it's a great feeling and it's very inspirational. So let's go, I'm gonna show you now Davi. Everybody knows Davi. Oh wow. The famous Davi. Davi, you have a bunch of fans. You see all these fans, they come to see you, they don't wanna talk Not to it. me. It's always been a dream come true to come to Alex Vega's shop. I've never actually seen this process happen in real life, so I thought that was a, a very good experience today. Yeah, I'm really excited. From what I've seen with the other cars he's done, it's gonna be awesome. Walking around with these kids, around the shop, hearing their ideas, their input, it was really refreshing. But now, it's time to sit down with Frank and get down to business. I'm really excited that you're, you're doing this, and you know, it's, it's a family business. I can't wait to see an Aborsa <laughs> model of two cars up there. That's You're gonna want to change every model to a boy. I bet, I bet, <laughs> I bet. But after, after you get done beating your son, because I'm rooting for you, <laughs> you and I are gonna race on, on the cars. So one of the first races that we're really anticipating to see who, uh, who wins is a race between Alex and his son, Junior, and they're gonna ra be racing the cars that they customize. So my family are all car fans, and we're all Alex Vega fans. When the idea to actually create a racetrack on board the cruise ship came to fruition, the next idea we came up with, wouldn't it be great to have a couple of customized cars by Alex in a Vorsa? The go-karts have finally arrived, and we can't wait to unbox them. Dale, Bobby. Uno aquí al lado de este mismo. Perfecto. Beautiful! Alright guys, I got a surprise for you. You guys ready to build boat engines? I'm kidding, listen. There's two gold carts inside these boxes and they want it to be a Vorza edition. And there's more to it. What but first, it? you guys gotta take them out and we'll go over it right now. Alright, let's do it. All right, take a look inside. The minute I saw these gold cards for the first time, I already saw in my mind what I wanted them to look like. Wow, you ready for that engine? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice, man. Real nice. As we're taking them out of the boxes, I can already tell that this is gonna be one of the funnest things we've ever done because we've never done anything like this before. And knowing that Norwegian has given me the opportunity to do whatever I want with these go-karts, I can't wait to take them to the next level. All right, guys, so they're out. Junior, Norwegian, send us two units. I'm gonna design the design. 
I'll do my lines, I'll do my craziness. But that's cheating. You, no, you're gonna paint both of them. Okay. So I'm gonna get Reyes and Axel. <laughs> and you get Jose and Uni. <laughs> Davi, you're with me. <laughs> Davi's supposed to be on my team. No, Davi's with both of us. I let you drive the cart, Davi. As soon as we're both done, the region is inviting us in the new Blizz racetrack. Both teams are all gonna get in go karts and we're gonna race. And whoever wins gets a two day weekend cruise. Since these guys are gonna help us put it together fast, if I lose, I'll give both of them 500 bucks. If you lose, you're giving them 500 bucks. How's that for a deal? So I'm gonna give them 500 bucks and I'm gonna get a free cruise. There you go. <laughs> Let him keep thinking that way. Junior seems pretty sure of himself that he's gonna win this race. Him and the team have to get these go karts started, and then when they're in the track, we'll see who shines. In order for me to visualize what I'm seeing, I need Axel to take out all the stickers, and that way I have a blank canvas to work with. And now that I have a blank canvas to work with, the magic starts with the pen. One of the most important things on every project I work on is that I'm 100% sure of my design. But something doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna have Excel wipe down all my markings so I have a fresh canvas to start all over again. Lucky me, my dad's got a whole new idea again and that's just part of his process, so I can't wait to see what his new idea is gonna be because the old one looked really good. Sometimes that's what it takes to get exactly what I'm looking for. Now, my team is ready to start stripping these go-karts apart. We got two carts and a real tight deadline. So this is how we're gonna make it happen. We got Uni and Jose taking the carts apart. As that's going on, Ariel's on the CNC machine designing and cutting out all the logos that we need for both go-karts. You see how they have the, the shape of the light? Yeah. But we're gonna make real lights. You want the same thing? No, I want real lights. And Davi's working his magic on both of these seats. Mr. Davi. Yes, sir. Make way for me, sir. Okay. One important feature of these go-karts is the seats. I wanted to go with a specific design and at the same time make them more comfortable. But we ran into a little problem. The way the seats are constructed, they have a drain in the bottom. But every problem here has a solution. You know something, Davi? I think better that we do cover. And I'll tell you why. Because it's going to be outside anyways. We're just gonna make covers that can be removable at any time. Are you scared? No. Perfect. No. Then let's get it done. Okay. We're putting just as much energy into these go-karts as if we were working on any exotic car. So the carts are finally taken apart now it's my turn to shoot some primer on them, get them sanded down, and get them ready for paint. Painting these go-karts is a really tedious task. In between each color, you gotta give it its time to cure. So between every color, we gotta tape up, peel the tape, you gotta peel it off real, real smooth. Because if you don't, as you peel off the tape, you're going to peel off whatever color's under it. And if in the end, when we're shooting the red, we peel off the white, we got to start all over again. And we don't want that to happen. So the colors my dad chose was white and black with an accent color of red and a blue. The red and blue have metallic flakes in them. So when we lay them down, it's going to be a little tricky. But when they're out in the sun, it's going to really pop and make a big, big difference. All the pieces from the go-kart came out flawlessly. Now we just gotta get the guys to put them back together.
Quality control is very important to me. That's why I like to follow through and make sure everything is being done the correct way. These Avorza go-karts are finally ready and I can tell my team had a great time putting them together. I'm excited to see them in action on the Norwegian Cruise Line Blizz Racetrack. Man, these guys blew me away. I never thought there would be such a huge track and so perfect on top of a cruise line. And what an honor that me and my team will be the first ones to try these Avorza go-karts on this track. I can already taste the victory and see the defeat on my dad's face when I pass him in my blue go-kart. Now it's time to teach my son Junior a big lesson. He doesn't stand a chance with me. All right, guys, you guys ready? Ready. Everybody's ready to lose? You ain't, huh? you ain't gonna win this, That's Papa. just first place. Hey, I want this weekend cruise, so I'm gonna get it. They want 500 bucks, and I gotta get it for them. Yeah. You're gonna get it, all right. I'm ready, you guys ready? Let's go, Junior. Davi, you ready? Where's Davi? Let's get ready to race. I was off to a real good start, and I knew there's no way my dad's gonna catch up to me, or anyone else for that matter. I went in a little too cocky, and I'm not gonna lie, my dad passed me. I saw the opportunity, and I flew past. And then in the end, I had to really show him who's boss. It's hard to believe these go-karts are electric. Man, they're fast. I can't believe he actually beat me. At the end of the day, it's my son. I let him win. All right, you won. I'll take I my, gotta give it to I'll him. take my trophy and go. You take won. Gold. You're gonna get your trophy. You get get your weekend. I'll stay working. It's all good. I'll, I'll give your mom the, the vacation. Over. Oh, you hear that? Wow. It was really nice of Junior to give me that weekend cruise, especially because I let him win. I was real glad to win, and that was enough for me. They can take the win, my team will take the money, and at the end of the day, I still go home the champion. Well, get him the 500, I don't care about that. I wanted to. You guys forgot about us. Oh, guess what now? I don't think it's over, we gotta race again.
enjoy this amazing cruise with my beautiful wife. All these wonderful things in one place. You have great restaurants, great food, clubs, comedy, casino. Name it, it's there, especially the racetrack. Seeing my Avorza go-karts lighting up that racetrack at night, that was the icing in the cake. This was a wonderful experience. I'm very grateful for Frank and his wonderful staff at Norwegian Cruise Line for this experience. And to the entire Norwegian staff, please, if you see Davi, tell him to come back. We miss you, Davi. <laughs>